hello everyone welcome back to my channel today again we are going to revise a new topic that is control controlling state so let's begin control engineering is a field that focus on designing and implementing control system to manage and regulate processes these systems are crucial in a wide range of applications from industrial automation to aerospace engineering so in today's topic we are gonna decide about open loop and closed loop system so let's go through the basics of feedback control system feedback control loop a feedback control system continuously monitors the output and make adjustments to maintain the desired state making it a fundamental concept in control engineering control system block diagram understanding the components and connections in a control system block diagram is essential for uh, grasping the basics of feedback control system pid controller proportional integrate derivative or pid controllers play a key role in feedback control system enabling precise control of dynamic processes so let's begin with the open loop systems its definition and characteristics so it is a no feedback loop in open loop system the output is not directly fed back to the input leading to the self lack of self correction and reliance on the predetermined inputs it simple design open loop systems are often simpler and less costly to implement compared to closed loop system making them suitable for specific applications vulnerability to disturbance without feedback open loop systems are well vulnerable to external disturbance that can impact the accuracy and the reliability of the output so we studied about the open loop now let's go to the closed loop system with its definition and its characteristics the feedback mechanism unlike in the open loop system closed loop system incorporate a feedback mechanism enabling a continuous monitoring and adjustment for improved precision and stability enhanced accuracy by comparing the actual output with the desired state closed loop system offer enhanced accuracy and response to disturbances complex implementation closed loop system generally involve more mm. complex design and implementation potentially increasing cost and requiring advanced expertise advantages and disadvantages open loop systems advantage simplicity in design low cost the disadvantages are vulnerability to disturbances and the lack of precision so this is the advantages and disadvantages of closed loop system so the advantages of the closed loop systems are precision control enhanced stability the disadvantages are as follows complex implementation and it has higher cost and maintenance so here are the some of the examples of open loop system in control engineering the first one is automatic toaster the simple heating mechanism in an automatic toaster 
operates without feedback, representing an open loop system in domestic appliances. Washing machine timer. Many older washing machines use open loop system for time based cycle without actively monitoring the washing process. Gas oven ignition. Gas ovens often rely on open loop system for ignition process, functioning based on preset timing without feedback control. Some of the examples of closed loop system in control engineers are as follows Thermostat system, automated lighting control, the car cruise control, automatic door opener, engine idle speed control, robotics motion control.